the 12 rules to live by on testosterone. Rule number one, the most important rule from my perspective, if you're going to live on testosterone, is going to be choosing your doctor. Who's going to manage you? Beyond me and my media, and I'm so humbled to help you guys with this stuff, so complicated, been working on it for so many years. What's the best doc that you could have, the health, best healthcare provider you could have to get you through this, to keep you on testosterone? Because I've been on testosterone for 30 years, and I want to live to 100, 110 if I can. I don't want any complications of the prostate or the heart. This is going to be tough. So you need a testosteronologist. But I'm the only one in the world. And I'm working on that, guys. I'm working on training other healthcare providers, but you got to give me time. So apart from that, there's two other doctors that are going to be top of the list. There's two other doctors that are going to be top of the list. Endocrinology and urology. Let's start with the endocrine guys. Did you know that endocrinology doctors are all cut from the same cloth of internal medicine? I'm an internal medicine doctor, they're internal medicine, then they further specialize in endocrinology. Did you know that? So these guys certainly could work on androgens and testosterone, but I'm gonna be honest with you. They got their hands full with obesity and diabetes. So that you can't know it all. You can't be an expert in diabetes, Cushing's disease, adrenal disease, osteoporosis, and everything about testosterone. No one's going to claim that. You can't do diabetes all day long and then throw a few patients of testosterone in with the red blood cells and the heart and the prostate. No way, Jose. It's never going to happen. I can't see it happening. And any good endocrinologist is going to say, I'm very good at diabetes or thyroid or adrenal insufficiency or osteoporosis for women. They're not going to be able to do it all. This is just my opinion. Maybe there's some guys out there that crank it all together. I don't know. You see my videos. You see the medical information I'm put, pushing out, pumping out here. It's even for me, there's so much complications and stuff with the cardiac and the red blood cells and all this stuff. We have no idea. We need more research. So next is going to be a urologist. Do you know that, that urologists are surgically trained? Urologists are surgical subspecialists. They're not internal medicine doctors. However, they can be phenomenal, but they need to really understand the heart, the cardiology, the hematology. They understand the prostate. But do they understand the medical complications? Again, that's why a testosteronology doctor is going to be number one. When you look at this stuff, there's things I want you guys to understand. If you have an endocrinologist, if you have a primary care doctor, a healthcare provider, a urologist, any great healthcare provider, maybe a nurse practitioner or a physician's assistant, they can be great. They need to understand the testosteronology side, and you want to understand the A, B, C, Ds. Please understand that. Hemoglobin A1C, B, blood pressure, C, cholesterol, D, deposition disease, and DAD, so understanding coronary artery disease from the family perspective and all my videos and how to do this. The, the testosteronologist, if you will, or the doctor or healthcare provider, if you will, needs to live, sleep, eat, and breathe, and poop androgens from a medical perspective, not a surgical perspective. That's my opinion. Needs to understand testosterone replacement, how to diagnose a man that's a naughty virgin, that's low, that may need testosterone, and to go through a detailed history and physical with obvious contraindications and concerns, and then further management once the man is on. And then the doctor needs to understand androgens, steroids in the streets, and anabolic recovery medicine that I created. Anabolic recovery medicine, it's on my website, testosteronology. I want you guys to understand this. I want you to understand all the videos and all the information I'm putting out for you guys. I've just started, right? Hopefully I'm living for another at least 50 years. I'm almost 60, so I do want to go to 100, 110 if I can, because with proper medical care, with the grace of God, 
and training hard and eating great and being super chill and being humble, I think we could all live to well over 100 with great medical care. So you guys, let's get some comments on this. I want to hear what you're doing in the meantime. How are you going to take care of yourself? You have the 12 rules now. You're going to work with your doctors, with your healthcare providers. Let me know what else we can do. Other tips, other things you find that are important, anything at all. Are there any other providers in the loop that maybe are not nurses or healthcare providers? Any coaches? Do you think gurus have anything to do with this? I really want to make sure that I cover everything really well because this is the end of the 12 rules to live by on testosterone. Thank you all so much.